you have got someone who's standing in front of you. May that person be removed in the name of Jesus. If, if there's a witch who's standing in front of you, I say this week that witch must leave your house. That witch must leave your children. In the name of Jesus. Breakthrough must be part of your house. Prosperity must enter with every door in the house. Oh, you hear me? Huh? If someone is giving you a problem where you're working, you're a Christian, th that person must make a way in the name of Jesus. I was giving you an example the other day. I said, imagine you are, you're a Christian. You are fired by someone who's not a Christian. Who was drinking alcohol yesterday on Sunday? It's Monday. Huh? It's Monday. Someone who's not even a Christian just come and say, brother, your job is finished. And you, you are, you are church. Oh, this thing must end. You, you are church, praying, pray, pray. That's how you pray, you people. <laughs> when you go to work in the morning, say, uh, come to my office, your job is finished. And he was drinking Heineken yesterday. I mean, you are a child of God. You must take over. Yeah. You are a child of God. You must take over. Yeah. I say, take over. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Take over. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. If, if you are not married this year, this year, this year, I'm saying, if you're not married this year, yeah. how many of you are not married? Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. C can you touch your stomach? Touch your stomach. In Jesus' mighty name! In Jesus' name! You demon, come out! You demon! demon must leave you today. Listen, I've got 10 minutes. I'm going to speak with you. Don't worry. I'm going to speak with you. I believe your demon is leaving you today. I mean, you, you'll find this boyfriend, the only thing that they do is to come and sleep with you. They leave you. The minute they sleep with you, they lose interest. Don't, I mean, are you not seeing that there's a problem somewhere? You'll hear people say, ah, oh, me, I don't, don't want to be married. I don't. They're lying. This world has beaten them. Come to Jesus. <laughs> if you've got a problem, do it. Come to Jesus. Your life will be redeemed. I'm telling you, doesn't matter how many children you are having. Huh? Amen. Listen, when you do fornication is sin. Let me tell you something. When you fornicate is what? Sin. It's sin. But the minute a child is born, that child is not a sin. That's right. <laughs> I don't know if, how many of you heard that. Let, let me repeat it for the last time. When you fornicate, you're doing what? Sin. You're sinning. But the minute the child is born, you can't call that child a sin. Because, you know, I've been learning this thing, many rejected children, they're the ones that God wants to use. <laughs> and to my surprise, well, here in Charis, I'm sure many of you, you don't have fathers. 
I'm telling you. Many people that are coming here, they don't have parents. What is the reason? I'm telling you, if I say stand up here, those who, who, who doesn't have parents will be shocked. 80% of this church can stand up. Why are you here? There's something special that God has given you. Yes. That your family, when they're looking at you from a distance, they'll start to admire you. Yes. Uh, whether they like it or not, it's God who gives.